I think I'm just gonna go out to the club. I'm gonna have a really good time. <laughs> it was boring. <laughs> December 2017. 23 year old Mercedes Grabowski, a rising star in the adult entertainment industry who goes by the stage name August Ames, withdraws from an upcoming pornographic scene she is due to perform in when she learns that the co star is a man who has appeared in gay pornography and has not been tested for sexually transmitted diseases. I think that she should be able to decide and say, like, yes, you know, this is something I want to partake in, or no, I don't. She sends out a tweet which draws a lot of criticism and abuse from social media users, a handful of whom are her peers in the porn industry, including Jackson Wheeler, a pansexual performer who demands that Ames apologize or take a cyanide pill. Two days later, August will be found dead in a park in Camarillo, California. Porn star August Ames was found dead. She committed suicide, apparently. Her death is ruled a suicide due to asphyxia by hanging by the Ventura County Medical Examiner's Office. The industry mourns her loss, but questions soon begin to emerge about the motivation for her suicide. August's husband, adult film director Kevin Moore, focuses his attention on the cyberbullying aspects, while others close to August, including her brother James, point the finger at a number of people around Ames, including her husband, suggesting that they contributed to the poor mental state that led to her death. And, I, and I'm not faulting like only the trolls were the, the cause of this. I don't want to say that, but I, it definitely did you know, hit home to her. She was obviously affected by it. You can right. see this play out on her Twitter feed. Kevin Moore gives an emotional speech at the AVN Awards in January of 2018, where he encourages performers to carry on August's legacy and not be ashamed of the choices they make for themselves in their personal and professional lives. What really triggered August's suicide? Was it a combination of the cyberbullying, compounded with a history of mental illness, that led to her tragic death? Or was it more than that? The porn industry preys upon people who are already damaged, so they can damage them more. And I was that girl. They promised me fame, fortune, attention. They promised me I would be the next biggest, hottest porn star. And they promised me that I would be kept safe. In 2017, at least five adult industry performers died by suicide or drug overdose in a seven-month period. There are many more who suffer from mental illness. What can the industry do to prevent the loss of its greatest asset, the performers? Will it learn from its mistakes, or will August, and others like her, have died in vain. To the haters in high school? Yeah. Um, uh, okay, first of all, a uh, uh, fuck you. Um, a uh, fuck you. 